Lastly, and this is one that um, I get excited about, um, especially because you know of the DJ and producer realm that I'm in, is the idea of um, a remix or like a cover song, uh, a bootleg. Um, people love remixes. If it's not an official remix, they call that a bootleg, basically meaning you took the song and you remixed it, but you didn't have permission to. Therefore, you can't sell it, so it's a bootleg. But you can use it. Uh, you can you can let people listen to it, and you can give it away for free. Um, um, or in more of a band sense, these are cover songs. Um, so you taking a song and uh, covering it, remixing it, bootlegging it, uh, and making it your own is not a bad idea whatsoever. So if I were to think about me and how I would do that, um, steel drum covers, not a bad idea. Um, I have to see if I can find it. For but for a long time, I I um I was passing around a bootleg um, of "Dance to the Music" by Sly and the Family Stone, um, and it had steel drums in it. It was it was a basically a house music, a, a tech house um, tune, a tech house bootleg of Sly and the Family Stone's "Dance to the Music," but unlike a normal tech house track that would just kind of chop up dance to the music vocals and use it, um, I included steel drums in it. So that made it sound very unique because it was this sort of um, 70s soul dance rock song remixed into a housey tech house thing, which was already cool. But then it's like, oh, he went tropical on us with some steel drums. That is kind of that idea of like a cover uh, that is really above and beyond. You know, I mean, taking something and covering it and making a tech house is already sort of like hitting the mark, but the bullseye is like steel drums, or if you're into like wa wobble bass or whatever, like just your thing, take it and use it.